Well, this week marks two years since President Trump took the oath of office. And while most of Massachusetts voted blue in the 2016 election, some communities swung his way. WBZ political analyst John Keller went to one of those towns to take the public's pulse. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. Two years later, the lunch crowd here in Billerica, which broke for Trump by just 219 votes, remains emphatically divided. I think he acts like a three-year-old. She thinks he's a three-year-old. I think he's more like a 13-year-old. You know, I think he's very sophomoric. I think the name-calling is ridiculous. He's doing a fantastic job. What do you like best? Everything he's doing. <coughs> he's keeping all his promises, and he's not a politician. For some, the strong economy has been a signature Trump accomplishment. I think he's doing fantastic. I think he's not getting enough credit for the uh, changes that he's made, uh, including the tax cut. For others, like a veteran we met worrying about the government shutdown's impact on his benefits, Trump's leadership has proven toxic. The whole thing with the uh, shutdown, this should have been taken care of before the new Congress came in. And no matter how you slice the issues, some voters here remain troubled by the president's style and standards. Stop being a hothead and get along with Congress. Actor age. It's entertaining, right? <laughs> um, good for the country on, on balance the first two years? It's good for the Trump organization. Well, thanks, first of all, to the folks at the Liberty Bell Diner for letting us come in there. So how polarizing has this period been? By contrast with two years ago when we first went to the Liberty Bell, many of the folks we approached just didn't want to talk about it at all. Maybe a sign of how bitter things have become. Where do we go from here? Well, you would like to think there's nowhere to go but up. But, uh, you know, the, the, the tone gets set from the top. And from the president, certainly, on down to other top leaders, the bitterness just seems to be getting worse. I think we haven't reached bottom yet. And we have another election cycle just ready to get going. Uh, it's already underway. This is the fastest starting presidential race I've ever seen. And uh, I don't know how, quite how I feel about that. Let me think about that. New Hampshire primary just about a year from oh, right now. Oh, no. Get ready, John. <laughs> All right, John Keller, thank you so much. Yeah.